Good morning, everyone. <laughs> we are at Villa Melnik Winery. Today we're going to sample some wines and possibly have some lunch. We just got here and the area around this winery is so beautiful. There are snow-covered mountains and we can see the vineyards. Yeah, we love wine tasting and exploring wineries. However, we always come at the wrong time. We always come in deep in winter months, so it's going to be our aim to hit up a winery in a summer month, but alas, we are here. I think Villa Melnik is supposed to have some of the best wine in Bulgaria and in this particular region of the world. Without further ado, let's go. We would like to do a tour and tasting. Okay. Yes. Okay, um, if you're ready, we can start with the tour. Our tour started with our guide, Tony, explaining how the geography and climate help Villa Melnik make such fantastic wines. Because you see that each vine is like meter, meter and a half tall, but its roots can grow up to 50, 60 meters deep down. No way. Yeah. That's insane. The second fun fact is the, the amount of sunny days we have here. Almost 300 sunny days a year. Really? So the weather is always quite like this. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's very sunny, it's hot and dry, which is again very suitable for the vines. We're also one of the few wineries in the region that are growing the rare local varieties, known as Melnik Jubilee 1300 and Ruen. The tour also includes seeing the machines used in the winemaking process. We were even able to look inside the massive vats that ferment the different types of wines. One of the highlights of the trip was being able to go into Villa Melnik's cellars. Here they had hundreds of casks of wine. Which is bringing us to our next subject, the oak barrels. We already spoke about them. So now you'll be able to see and discover that we're using three different types of oak. We have Bulgarian oak, French and American. We even got a sneak peek of Villa Melnik's collection of vintage wines in their wine cellar. After finishing the wonderful tour, it was finally time to try some wine. We just finished with the tour and now we are just waiting for our wine tasting. We just brought a board of food. White is white, it's very fresh, mostly fruitier, citrus aroma. Surprisingly smooth. Just went down pretty easy. Once you, I don't know, try 50 wines, <laughs> it just gets easier. But I got the pear. Like yeah. the pear was good. To be honest, her sense of smell, like there's a greyhound dog and then there's hot eggs better than that. Like hers is much better. So actually even the statistics and the science says that uh, women are better sommeliers than men. You will now try orange wine. Do you know what orange wine is? Have you heard of it? No. Okay. <laughs> like I already said, this will be a white wine made under red wine technique, which means that for this wine, the juice had fermented with both the skins and the seeds. You don't like orange wine? No. I'd love to say it's a no for me. Let me see. Let me do a little swirl. I don't mind it. It doesn't have a strong taste. Mm. It just isn't sweet. Yeah, it's not sweet at all. The smell is worse than the taste. Yes, you will now try one of our signature and most, family, uh, most famous Melnik varieties. You try the Melnik 55. It's called Melnik 55 for a reason. When the scientists were doing the different crossbreds, they were naming them after, after different numbers, so like 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. The 55th was this one, it was successful, so they decided to keep it. It smells really nice. It's got a sweet taste. I actually do like it better because the other one was dry, this one's a lot sweeter and I prefer sweeter wines. This is really nice. Cheers. I already said that the applause is our highest class. Now you try something very limited edition because this is um, applause premium reserve. It's a lot drier. It's uh, the smell is a lot saltier. 
definitely carries more grape energy. Definitely. So we're just finishing up with our wine tour and we had a wonderful time. If you're anywhere near Bansko or Sofia, we definitely recommend that you come out to Villa Melnik and have a wine tasting or a wine tour or do both like we did. Our host, Tony, she was wonderful. She explained everything that there is about Bulgarian wine and this vineyard. I mean, it's incredible the amount of effort that actually goes into making a bottle of wine and these people at Villa Melnik Winery have got it down. We really liked the Melnik 55, so we bought some to bring home with yeah, us. Yeah, we did. <laughs> it was so good. But we tried six different wines, and all of them, to be fair, were really good. We had never tried orange wine yeah. before, so that was a bit strange, but it was it was unique to be able to try something different that we had never done before. But It was good. All in all, a really good day. We just want to say thank you for watching this vlog. Please subscribe to our channel, it will really help us out and we have videos coming out twice a week now so make sure you get your one-way ticket with us. Thank you! Mm. There's something that Holly wants to do and she's unable because she missed her flight. I would not do it. No one knows what you're talking about.